everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and welcome back to another episode of Toy Talk. Max here, and I'm pumped. I'm ready for this episode. I just came out of work. Ducky prepared us. Thank you, Ducky. Thank you, viewers. It's it's so great to come home and talk about some great doll news. And I love take, talking about great dolls. I'm very positive about this. I can't wait. Let's get into it. Yep, there's the pull-up, um, some new pull-ups that are coming out. And the first one is probably my favorite because it's based off a of cinema role, who is a Sanrio character. Yeah, that's cool. This is the type of pull-up that I really get excited about. Something really interesting and cool, unique. I love the little pet. Yeah. I, I want lots of pull-ups to have cool pets. Well, that's the character it's based off of. It's not yeah. a pet. It's like, um, it's like a... Oh, the Sanrio... Yeah, it's like the I've character ne plush. I've never seen this bunny before. I have. It's it's probably my favorite Sanrio character. Oh, really? Yeah. And how come I didn't know about it? I don't know. <laughs> Man, I did a fail on that one. I didn't know that was your favorite. Yeah, one of my favorites. Probably I like this more than Hello Cho Kitty. Choco Cat. Uh, no. I like Cinema Roll way What's more than Choco Cat. What's your favorite... Sanrio character vote in the comments you might get a shout out soon this is a cool one too not as cool as the the Sanrio themed she's one. very pretty she's, yeah it's a different thing this it's, is pull a premium yeah I really hope the wigs are pr really premium too like it looks like it from yeah. the pictures at least um, I want Taiyang premium that would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but she she is so pretty. Very pretty. Gorgeous. Um, the thing about her eye chips, they look different from nor like the regular normal eye chips that you usually get that have like the lines in them. Oh, okay. They look better to me. What Sanrio boy character could they do as a Taiyang to go along with Cinnamon Bun? Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll, sorry. <laughs> Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Um, the froggy one? I know, it's the only one I know. I, I'm not... Viewers, help us out. I know you viewers know. Gudetama. Gudetama? Yes. You want a lazy egg, Taiyang? You're going to have to make that one, Ducky. I don't think they're making... Get... That would be... Can you do it? No. I get, you got to make it own kit. I think I, I have think one. I can do that. You don't want you don't want to try? No. No. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> and this is a You nice... can have his eyelids sleeping. Okay. You could do little I little I still things, don't want to do that. Things on the eyelid. No. There's other okay. No. Alright, this one. Also I'm excited because I I'm keeping a secret, but I know what I'm working on this week for a hot topic. Okay. And it's thanks to her viewer, and I can't talk about it because then you would get. But it's on the, one of the last few Toy Talk episodes. Someone left a comment, did a little research, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a lot of rumor and speculation. Okay. And I'm pumped for that. That's what I'm working on this week. So, I like her hat. Sorry. I'm not sure. Is this um, one based off the art, or is the art based off the doll? I'm not sure. I think my guess, I have no, I, I'll be guessing, I have no idea, but I think the doll is based off the art, because mm -hmm. it looks like a classic painting or something. Mm-hmm. What do you think of her? She's I like, cute. She kind of reminds me a little bit like a Dorothy. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> and I wasn't quick enough. Nope. A picture of her up close. And then this is, on the other side is an artwork. For the next one. Is this an Issel? Mm, or a pull-up? No, it's pull-up. Okay. It's like a collaboration between Baby, the Star Shine they have Bright, a, mm -hmm. um, Girls, Girlism, and Pull-up. They have a long history of collaborations with Groove. Who? Uh, Baby, the Star Shine. Oh, Star. yeah. Because that's a, a like a loot gothic lolita not gothic or not gothic but... just like all different kinds i think 
I think Japanese fashion. Lolita, yeah. yeah. She is really detailed and really, really awesome. Oh, really? Okay. This is just a random picture. I put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> Which pull-ups were in that, Ducky? None of them. You know, that's $200. That necklace, I found out. That necklace? It's for Coco. Why is it $200? Disney store. I don't know. That's $200? Yes. I'm pretty sure it's like 180 or 200 or something. But it's not a, it's like on one of those keychain chains. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Mm, okay. I was researching on Disney Store. That's weird then. Yeah. I don't know why. I love Coco. I I liked it too, but I don't understand why that would be $200. Anyway, back to the pull-up. Um she was in a runway show with the model that's cool. Yeah. I think she's gorgeous. I, myself, um, I'm not hugely into the Lolita fashion, so I probably wouldn't want her, but I think the detail in her dress is probably more detailed than the runway model's dress. Yes, but just, like, go back. Well, you could stay here. Stay here. Okay. How cool is it that I know... Pull-ups in other category than Mattel dolls. It's totally different. I know. Uh, but I'm saying, how cool it is that they have a, a fashion model showing off their doll. Mm -hmm. It's so light years beyond what's happening with Mattel. Like a collaboration like that. It's just a goodwill and awesomeness. There's nothing cool like that happen with Mattel dolls. Yeah. The last one. Well, there was Lady Gaga. That was cool. That was unique. Yeah, from Monster High. I think I would just want Lady Gaga to take over. <laughs> her and her sister. Yeah. I would. I just. I mean, I know she's got awesome music to make. Mhm. Mm but can you help us out, Lady Gaga? <laughs> uh, but it's just so cool. Mhm. Mm to premiere a doll on a runway. Mhm. Mm it makes sense. Since... We we should have doll premieres and events for dolls. Dolls need to be that. I mean, I, I know everything can't be a pull-up, and it can't be that expensively made, but something cool and unique events for dolls. Uh-huh. But I'm happy with this news. Yeah. But now, for you viewers, you can only pick one. Well, I, I'm not sure if we're done with... Uh, we probably are done with pull-ups. Yeah, so you viewers, which one would you pick? If you could, if you, if someone was just giving them out, if this model was like, you know what, you can have this one, which one would you pick? Out of the... Out of the four. Isn't there four? Um, yes. Maybe one and two, because I think I know your one. My one? Yeah. Uh, the, the Cimarola one. Yeah, so you have to pick a number two. Number two would be the, the second one we saw. Oh, okay. Yeah. My number one, number two, I think would mirror yours. The cinnamon roll. Mm hmm And then, yeah, it's like a tie between this one and the second one with the pink dress. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just attracted more to more, like, less frilly outfits, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, um, anyway, but... I'm sure there will be a lot of people who want this one. Yes. And then this is not pull up. Oh, this is a random thing. I was, I was, I was thinking about doing like randomness and toy talk. Like, it doesn't even have to be current. Uh huh. I was just looking. I was like, whoa, this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> this scares me. <laughs> I don't like, like it. It's like a weird doll inspired by Hellboy the comic. I don't know when this was made. Mm -hmm. It's just. I was just going to think about doing Toy Talk Randomness seg segment. Just pick something random mm -hmm. off the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what this is. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> and here's the box. Next, we have this WWE Superstar Collection. It's a five pack. Mm -hmm. Most of these have been out. I think they all been out, but now you get them in a five pack. Yeah, if you haven't got them, you can get them all together. I mean, if you're a fan of these wrestlers, I'm happy for you. Yeah. Because they look decent. Yeah, they all have clothes. I don't see any molded or painted on accessories, so they're pretty 
good, um, look good for um, some dolls. Where do you go from here? I, do you think these are a one-off? Do you think they're going to do a Series 2 of W? I think they could because I think especially... Don't wrestler... I don't watch wrestling what? at all. You don't watch wrestling? Yeah. Okay. Fake... Fake shock needs fake to stop. Shock? Yeah, fake shock? You know I don't want wrestling. But I think, like, don't they have multiple outfits that they could do? I think they do. Uh, I'd hope so. I think wrestlers have different outfits. So, there's probably going to be more of them, I would imagine. Yeah. Here's a picture yeah. of Enchantimals. When's Mattel going to make a boy doll again of any line? Well, the hedgehog for our this. That's not a doll. That is an abomination. That is the worst doll this year. Well, you asked. I was, I was thinking about doing a... There's Ken if, dolls. If I didn't get us in trouble enough, I was thinking about doing a worst doll of the year. Maybe the best of two, not to be super negative. Uh-huh. But if there was a top list, top five list of worst things and dolls this year Hixby Hedgehog is on there that was horrible but this picture's I bought I love this picture okay but that yeah okay here's a pork sweat sweater yeah what do you think of this I liked it initially but then I just like started staring at its <laughs> face and it kind of started bothering me a little bit yeah i don't want to see that in the in the hallway at late at night you know the sweater kind of looks really nice um it's just something about the face is a little off to me and then we have forces of destiny luke with um yoda now i have to say i really like this luke doll except for except for the fabric part and that's completely opposite for me. If you're going to do molded stuff, do it right. That's mm -hmm. what I always say. Mm -hmm. Do I say that? Yes. Um, no, you usually say don't do molded stuff. No. Yes. But if you're going to... Okay, you're right. <laughs> you're right. But if you're going to do it, do it right. And his hair sculpt looks really good. His face looks really good. I think his pants and his shoes look really good, too. Yes. This is something... The Forces of Destiny dolls have been doing good. They're doing molded on stuff, but it's done well. Yeah. Although, that is basically the same boot we've been getting for multiple dolls. I don't think so. I think it was on a Ray doll. I don't think so. Okay. I don't remember well, those boots on a Ray doll. Beyond that, my okay. problem with this doll is the fabric. Is mm. it's so cheap, the jacket. Yeah. They, they should have just made pockets. I mean, there's not that much else going on on a Luke doll. They could have a little, you know, put a little bit of extra money in the jacket. Come on. Well, it's Luke Skywalker. They had to give, uh, Yo at least Yoda got cloth stuff and not just molded on stuff. So yeah, the Yoda cool. looks okay. He doesn't look bad or good. He just looks Yoda. He's a Yoda. So next up, some this just in. stuff. This just then. I didn't have all the pictures for the last one. Mm -hmm. Now that we see how it works, yeah. What do you think now? Does it okay? Has it improved with these new pictures, or do you you think it's lesser? You're oh. like not as impressed. There's one picture that I like. It's not this one. I I will tell you when we get to it. But um, I think the mechanism is kind of funny and silly. It, it, I don't know if it's meant to look like a hoodie, but I almost think they should have just gone all fabric for the tail instead of having the plastic piece around her face if they were going to go for like a hood. And I don't think that little piece of plastic helps her stand with her tail. Yeah. It might. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm wrong. What do you think of the dress? Um, I like the dress except for the weird hood. I mean... The hood is like is really oddly placed. Like, why would you have a hood with that dress? Mm -hmm. Um. Mattel needs to go on like what not to wear, like with their. 
design choices. No, I just think the plastic part in particular makes it look odd. Okay. If it was all fabric, it might not look as bad to me personally. All right. Well, let's see. Is there another picture that shows more? There's this picture, which I like this picture. That's cool. I think together looking like this, it looks cool. I would probably keep it in this. I wouldn't have it to be complete tail or a complete dress. This, to me, looks the best. Based on recent output from Monster High, this is almost like a fashion. <laughs> Not just a simple dress. Yeah. I mean, it's close to it's close to being something. Yeah. So I'll give it that. Yeah. I'm staying positive on this Laguna doll mm -hmm. out of the recent batch. Oh, it's not bad. The other thing I um, was wondering is where her wings go. Like, I guess you have to detach the wings when you have the fabric dress up because she doesn't have the wings on. That wouldn't be a total... Uh, the gimmick doll, the gimmick part wouldn't work that great if you have to detach something. But I think you're right. Where is it go? Where does it go? You, you just Where do the wings off. go? You just take them off. You just take them off? Yeah. Okay. So, this is definitely my favorite. Um, another thing I just noticed, too, is usually Laguna's hair is blonde with blue streaks. And I, I might be wrong, but I feel like this is the first time she's had just, just pink and blonde in her hair. Oh, just think about it. She had, like, a fabric top, a nice necklace... And just like a little bit of paint deal details on the wings and the shoes. This doll would look really cool. I think it's still good the way it is. Even though her her top is painted, I altogether it looks okay to me. I will not accept painted tops. <laughs> now, I'm not against the reboot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I prefer older dolls. Mm -hmm. But this is the best of these characters since the reboot happened. And it's in a five pack. That's why it's being covered in this mm -hmm. episode of Toy Talk. Yeah. So. They're available in a five pack. If you pack. want to get the best of the best. I'm not sure. Do you know which store? If it's at every store? Or is it exclusive? I guess Target or Toys R Us or something. But I'm not sure. But if you only buy one reboot doll. This or Party Goals. Those are the other ones that I thought were good. Remember mm -hmm. the Party Goals? With the Dracula or with the hair, you had little pegs and you did different hair. Now, she didn't have oh, articulation. What? The Dracula with the hair thing? She went along with the party goals. Oh. She had the different hairstyles. You did the little peg. That was Ducky doesn't know favorite. what I'm talking about. I know you viewers do, but then. I. The Abby, I, the Abby I, and the reveal Venus. A lot of the Abby, stuff. the Venus, and the um, Rochelle. Yeah, I know those. Yeah, those went along with the party hair Dracula. Yeah, that, I didn't like the party hair Dracula. She so wasn't much. bad mm. for a gimmick doll. She actually functioned. Okay. And it was something fun to do. But did this you is, did you do her hair while I wasn't looking? You know, <laughs> when the doll's sitting there after your review, no, he did. I I go he did not. and I do some. I you don't know about my secret Instagram. <laughs> I'm, right. I have many followers okay. from my from my doll photos. Right. You don't know. I could have one. Okay. I believe you. Okay. Well, here's the... Uh, I If I didn't have this, I would buy it. It's really good. What are your thoughts? Um. Yeah, I think this is a good way if you were interested in getting the reboot dolls and haven't yet to get all of them at once. This is where you should start, and this is where you should stop. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, so, next pictures are just some Mattel photos, which they take really great photos of these dolls. Yes. The Mattel photographer earns their money. Mm-hmm. These, these images look great. Mm-hmm. And do not get a close-up on that baby. <laughs> the only one that, that I don't think they succeeded that well is the Vampire Kitchen one. Oh, yeah. Because she's just, like, fl floating there. And then the dumb hat on Dracula. I cannot stand that hat. Mm. <laughs> Party bus. 
Mm-hmm. And that's it for Monster High. Not Oh, this too is much a long episode. Stuff. I've been talking too much. Uh this is really cool. I'm really excited about these. I think they're cool, but I'm already kinda locked into the the sets that I think are probably a little bigger than this. So Well guess what? What? Uh I think that Disney is skimping on the little mini doll sets. I don't think they're doing them anymore. Wow. They're doing all these other little sets with really little animator things oh. and these things. So I think they're... It's just like every... Now, Mattel... I go on and on and on and on about Mattel. But all across the board, companies, doll, toys, they, all, they never get to every character. Once they start to see... The sales dip a little bit with some other characters. They never complete it. So I don't ever think they're going to get through all the Disney animator in doll form in the big or the mini. Mm -hmm. So they're just experimenting with the brand in other forms. And it's upsetting because those mini doll sets were really cool. I like that at least these, it looks like connect together. These are basically, I think these are the figures that come in that big, like, 20-pack at Disney Store. Yeah. The but they're just in blind bags. animator ones. I don't get the, oh, the pencil. Okay, no, I, I just got it. The animator. Yeah, and the pencil. Uh, okay. You get it now? Yes. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have thought before I spoke there. <laughs> <laughs> Ducky wishes that all the time. Maybe. That I, <laughs> I like the little so... bed there. Yeah, but, like, see, the accessories with these kind of things seem a little more pointless because I guess you could lay them down on the bed. I mean, you can set up a scene, but they can't really use the bed because they're not really dolls. But they're cute. You know those um, holiday big sets of animator dolls that had some dolls that we never got many doll sets? Yeah. I think they stopped production on the sets and just threw them all in a thing and never did all the accessories. That's my theory. I don't know about that because they did it... They, I remember they doing it multiple years and between those years they had new ones coming out, so... The last mini doll set that I can remember was Boo from Monsters, Inc. Oh, uh, yeah. And that was close to... But I haven't been to a Disney store in a while, so I don't know. We need to go on a toy hunt. Mm, I not I don't like going into huge crowds. So. Okay. Here's um Five Nights at Freddy's uh blind plushes. These are Funko. Yep. Yep. And then we also have Dark Harbor. I don't know what this is. It's it's cool looking. I don't know what this is either. They're expensive. I think each blind box is like fifteen dollars. There's mo there's a lot of like um, just like cartoons and artist figures. It's not necessarily connected to like uh, animation or a movie or anything. It's just like an artist imagination. So this might be something like that, or it could be a show. I'm not sure. It looks cool. Yeah. And then a pint sized. Heroes, um... Rick and Morty. It... Is it... It's all Rick and Morty? Yeah, yeah, it is Rick and Morty. Like, I saw the, the, like... The unicorn thing, and I got confused for a second. But, um... Little pint size Hero of Rick and Morty's, and then this Brillo Object Series. Uh, I'm not into these. Like I said, if this is, like... Feels like one of those art things yeah. art blind bag figure things i think i'm liking the pint size here is better than the mystery minis because they have I more don't. style no i don't all right we gotta wrap this up yeah well the next one is the viewer comment so oh, you got this one that's long <sighs> okay. i appreciate it though for this is all you ducky yeah and this is from now's otter den that Halloween doll breaks my heart. Somehow I honestly thought they would leave Halloween, Claudina, and Claude 
and other pre-existing siblings out of the equation. I figured since Clydeine always talked about being part of a big litter, it's not surprising there are more siblings we haven't met. Draculata's new sis is adopted and so on, but make up your mind, Mattel. Either keep the storylines, relatives, etc., and only change the molds and appearance of age, or do a whole different backstory with new families and then deal with the monster you created, pun intended. No bringing back old characters just because the new ones aren't working for you and ruining them in the process. Halloween was such an important character in many storylines concerning fitting in, yet punky and edgy. This is just sad. I can't even look at poor... Um, Cushion. Cushion? Yeah. Cushion. I think so. Pin cushion. Like, uh, I don't know. I, uh, think, I think they meant to... Yeah. Cushion? What? Okay, well, it's a nice comment, and I, I totally agree. Oh, the, her pet's name is Cushion. Yes. Okay, I was confused for a second. Yeah, I know. I don't remember the <laughs> names of all their pets. I hardly remember anybody's name ever, so. All right. Wow, this was a cool comment. Pun, pun even had puns that are intended? Mm-hmm. Wow, great comment. Uh, I, I can't really add to it. I just, I totally agree with your comment. Yeah, um... Yeah, they really changed up how Halloween looks. Not only, like, making her, I think, appear younger, to me at least, but um, just, like, her style. She's, her style before, she was very, like, street Small. style, and she, she sort of, like, had, um, like, she had really curly hair, and it was really short, I remember. They, it's watered down. Yeah. It's no edge. Mm -hmm. It's bland. If you're gonna do Monster Family, do Monster Family. Yeah. Include everybody. Yeah. You know, give a little uh, fan service to the people that were there from the beginning. Introduce your new characters, but treat the old ones with respect. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. I might go on a little rant if we keep going, so... Yeah. So thank you guys for watching this Toy Talk, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Bye.